Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be doing the full main easter egg guide for Westland in Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. All the side stuff and all the buildables I'll put in the pinned comment down below. For this video is simply the main easter egg and you don't really need any of the buildables and stuff like that, that's just extra stuff, so that's why I'm putting it in the comments. So getting through the main easter egg, the first thing you're going to have to do is go turn the power on by going into the power room. The rooms are labeled, so simply head into the power room, press the button, and then you're going to have to open up Pack-a-Punch by going upstairs of the power room and pressing the two red buttons on either side of the room, but be prepared for that because then you're going to be teleported into a lockdown in the power room and you have to fill up souls by killing zombies in there. Once you've done that, you'll be teleported out and Pack-a-Punch will now be available upstairs as a big sphere that you can simply jump into to teleport to Pack-a-Punch. The next thing you're going to have to do is actually wait till round 15 for the character Alex to begin talking to you again. He will then tell you that you have to get the power handle part, which is by the IDM. So in order to get it, you have to shoot four valves around the map until they turn green. Every time you shoot it, it'll turn you have to keep turning them until they turn green. They can be done in any order, and the first one is going to be in the elemental pop room. There's a zombie window spawn over there. You can just look out there and you'll see a little red valve on the wall. You just want to keep shooting it until it turns green. Second location is going to be in this area with kind of the flowers in the middle of the room, and you're going to have to go to this direction here on the left, and there's your second valve out there. The next valve is going to be in the stamina up room. Simply go into that room and take a left, and then make a right, and then you should see the valve there. And the fourth and final valve is going to be in the stamina up room once again. Simply walk into the room, and there's going to be two doors, one on your left and one on your right. Go through the left door, and the final valve should be there. Once you've turned all those valves to green, you can go back to the IDM switch, which is just outside the power room, and look above it, and you should see the power handle drop down. Simply pick it up and place it on the switch. And then Alex will tell you to find two supercharged crystals. There's only two of the crystals that you need to find, but the locations seem to be randomized. Personally, in my game, I found it. I found one in the buried section of the map floating up there inside of a window. You simply had to keep occasionally shooting it until it eventually flew down and you're able to pick it up. And the second one in my game was actually in the spawn room. Room, which you just had to shoot and then pick it up as well. Once you have these two crystals, you're going to need to stabilize them and head to the two stabilizers to do so. One is right outside the elemental pop room in the corner. You simply want to place it there and activate it, and you'll have to defend it for a short period of time. It's not too hard if you have perks and maybe some pack-a-bunch guns. And the second place to stabilize the second crystal is in the buried area once again. And it's going to be near some broken stairs and by the Carsons and Co. building. So place the crystal in that one too and protect that one as well. Once you've completed both of those and collected them, you can now make your way back to the power room and make sure you end the round after collecting both of those crystals and stabilizing them. And now you'll be able to place them in the red boxes on the either side of the power room. Once doing so, they turn into soul boxes and you'll have to fill them up. After filling them up, you'll now need to find beacon parts that are found on the buried part of the map. These locations are random, but they're very obvious. They're glowing yellow orbs. And once you've found it, simply shoot the orb and a guy will come out of it and be floating in the air with different orbs flying around him. The orbs flying around him will begin shooting at you. So make sure you shoot all those orbs around him and then you can kill the guy in the air and then he will drop a part nearby. However, where the part lands is not too obvious, so be sure to look around, even if it was kind of upstairs closer to where he was, if that's an area he was at. So once you collect that part of the beacon, you'll have to do this two more times for a total of three times by finding another glowing orb and fighting two other guys to get all three parts. Once you have these three parts, make your way back to the power room where you can now build the beacon in warning. After you build the beacon, this is kind of your point of no return where Packed Munch is going to be locked away, so be prepared for this, is what I'm trying to say. Once you're ready, craft the beacon and activate it, and now you will have to choose which boss fight you want to take. There's one on the left and one on the right. The one on the left is called Gamma, the one on the right is called Theta. I personally fought Theta, and what I've heard is Gamma is the harder boss fight, the much harder boss fight, very punishing. So you have your normal-ish boss fight or your hard boss fight, so take your pick. The easier one's going to be Theta, the one on the right. And once you've done that, you're now going to have to find a orb inside the buried part of the map. You need to find this orb in and jump into it by any means necessary but it shouldn't be hard to find because it's just simply in the buried part of the map once again and all you need to do is follow the orb and stay near it and it'll make occasional stops where it'll spawn in a brutus so be prepared to kill him and occasionally the brutus will drop a max ammo so it'll help you out through the escorting eventually the orb will lead you to the power room and go into what was once the teleporter for pack-a-punch that teleporter will now be available to use to teleport you into the boss fight. If you're doing the Theta boss fight, when you hop in, you, it's simply an alien from Extinction, and it has a shield. You simply have to break the shield by shooting at it, and once it's broken, you can then deal damage to Theta. I'll give you a heads up that the main wonder weapon of the map, the NX-1, does not really do much to the boss at all, so use bullet weapons. 
Oh, and beware of the horde of zombies constantly spawning during this boss fight. You can only do so much damage every time you break Theta's shield, so the boss fight is going to take a while, but as long as you stay focused, you should be able to get it done. Once you complete the boss fight, you'll be rewarded a perkaholic and be teleported back into the map. Once on the map, you'll be able to make your way to the Firebase Z teleporter to escape. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the full easter egg of Westland in Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies, created by Planet. It's an awesome map, and I hope you guys enjoy this guide. If you guys want to see me make more guides and other custom zombies maps, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Smash the like button for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.